We will now demonstrate the procedure for administering medication by the IV push method. The nurse or the caregiver must wash their hands with soap and water and dry with paper towel. She will then assemble supplies on a clean and dry surface, which include alcohol swabs, two saline flushes, and the medication syringe. Using three alcohol swabs, wiping for one full minute, cleanse the threaded end of the needleless injection cap. Do not touch the end of the cap after you have cleaned it. Remove the cap from the saline flush and screw the flush syringe onto the needleless cap and insert the contents of the saline flush, leaving about a half a cc of solution in the syringe. Unscrew the empty syringe and discard. Remove the protective cap on the medication syringe. Take note that the syringe has your name on it. There should be no air bubbles, floating particles, or leakage from the syringe. If you notice a problem, simply use another syringe and contact CarePro Infusion to inform them that you need a replacement. Screw the medication syringe onto the injection cap. Confirm that all clamps on the IV catheter or extension are open. And slowly, approximately 2 cc's per minute, insert the medication into your IV catheter by using steady pressure on the syringe plunger. After you have inserted the medication, unscrew the medication syringe and set aside. Immediately pick up the second saline flush, remove the cap, and then screw the saline syringe onto the injection cap. Insert the contents of the saline flush by using the push-pause method. The flush may be inserted over three to five seconds unless otherwise directed. Unscrew the empty saline flush syringe and discard. If the catheter is open-ended, you will need to follow with a final flush of heparin, 3 cc's, using the push-pause method and stopping at the last half cc. The flush syringes and medication syringe can be disposed of in the wastebasket. This completes the procedure for the IV push administration.